Hey, welcome back. All right, so what I've done here is I've uh, also created a Plasma 6 version of the Linux Hub Arch project. So uh, I'm not really a fan of Plasma and nothing like that, but uh, I created it for a reason. And I'm going to do the same for Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, pretty much all the major desktops. And what this is going to do is this is going to take all the hard work out of... Uh, creating your own distro because I'll have a platform for each one set up already. Um, that way, you know, it'll just take out, it'll take out all of the hard work of getting these certain systems. So if you want to create your own, uh, open box version, Mate version, cinnamon, plasma, whatever, pretty much the skeleton will be set up for you already. And all you have to do is do your edits and tune it to the way you like. So this video, I'm not going to show you everything on here. I just want to show you that I did create a Plasma 6 version and you could use it standalone as it is. It's ready to use. You can keep the system, use it yourself, use it however you want to use it. But this is basically the, uh, this is all the guts of having Plasma 6 already baked into it. So that way, if you want to create your own distro, it's already set up with a skeleton of Plasma 6 and then you could add whatever you want to add to it. All right. So as you can see, it, it opens up right here. I just booted up the screen. The installation, all the installations are always going to be the same. They're all going to be the same on all of them. So if you see the installation video guide, it's pretty much telling you how to install it. And you can see right here, it opens up with the, uh, with the regular plasma welcome screen. Now I didn't edit this at all. What it does is it goes through your system. And like right here, it says, welcome to the Linux hub plasma six version 1.0.0 operating system running KDE plasma. What it does, it goes into your system and it automatically gets this info for you. So this is nothing. I didn't have to edit the welcome screen or anything like that. It just grabbed it from the system itself. So if you create your system and whatever you call it, it's going to have that name that comes up right here on this little section right here. And this is just your standard uh, plasma welcome. So you just use the next button, click next, give you system settings, powerful when needed, manage software. Share anonymous usage information. So right now it's set to disabled. And then you got get involved. You can start contributing to Plasma. Uh, you can make a donation. These, these donations, they did not go to me. They'll go to Plasma. So that's nothing to do with me at all. And then, and then right here, once you close that out, you have your regular Linux hub welcome. And right here, you can, you know, do the same thing as it's going to be on all the versions. You can update your core repositories. You can back up your system using a uh, time shift. If you want to install the PAMX software manager and then you get your theme manager. See on this one, I'm going to have to make some edits because the theme manager plasma works different than uh open box. So it has his own, uh, his own theme settings and all that. So uh, on plasma, if you want to edit the themes, you just go to this control center here, system settings, and then you just scroll down to appearance and style. Then you can change your theming from right here. You can change your colors and all this. So there, that is one change that I got to go back and, uh, like this theme manager, it's not, this is, this is going to open up a uh, LX appearance, but I don't even think it's installed in here because this is plasma. So that's something I'll have to change. Same thing with the wallpaper manager and panel manager, because we're not using a 10 to everything right here is all plasma. It's all plasma. All right. So I'll just close this and you can see right here, you have your, uh, your application launcher. So you got your recent application, recent files, development, education, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, utilities, and your power session. So if you want to log out, reboot, switch user, sleep, all that, it's all right here. And then it has a little small. All right. So this is just showing you that uh, I created the plasma and it is plasma six. So uh, if you want to confirm that, we'll open this up right here and go to the about. Yeah, about the system and right here, KDE Plasma 6.0.2. All right. So, oh, and it, it even has my, uh, the link. So like I said, it goes into your system and it grabs the info from your system. So the way you create it, it's going to grab all of that. So let me see. Let me open up a terminal and see. Uh, let's do LX terminal. And yeah. You can see right here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So it is Linux Hub Plasma 6 version 1. And it is using the latest kernel 6.8.1. Desktop environment is going to be Plasma 6.0.2. All 
There you got your, then you got your theme information, icons, terminal, CPU, GPU, and your memory. And if you want to do H top, you can do that also. And you see right there. So using 1.20 gigs out of four. Load averages are 0 0.72, 0 0.45, and 0 0.18. All right, I'll go ahead and close that. All righty. So I'll give you a little sneak peek into the installation process. So everything is going to be in your ISO folder. So if you open this up, you're right here in the relaying folder. You click the little search right here and on the search content, you type Linux hub plasma because these are the keywords you're going to search. This is in, in, uh, in, for this case because it is the plasma version and I'll click enter on my keyboard and it'll populate the files that have this in them. So all you have to do is just select them all, right click and go open with Pluma, which is your text editor. And then you'll make this bigger. And then you find everywhere where it says Linux Hub, Plasma 6, version 101. And you can just change this to whatever name you want to call it. And it's, it's going to be in here multiple times. So what I do is I do a search and replace. So right here, you're just going to search for what I just highlighted up there. And you give it the name you want to give it. And you click on replace all. And it'll replace all of them for you. And you just do the same thing for all of them. Bam. All right. But like I said, I'm going to, I am going to make a more detailed list as to how to uh, edit your own and make your own system. This is just a little sneak peek into that, but I am going to make a more detailed version of it. That way you can create your own system, call it what I'm going to show you how to edit everything, how to edit the, uh, the grub screen, how to edit your, uh, Neo fetch and all that. It's, 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 I'm going to put everything on there on one video to show you how to do it. All right. But this is just a quick look that show you that, uh, the Plasma 6 version is ready and up. And uh, if you're watching this video, that means that it's already on the website, ready for download. All right, you guys. So like I said, I am going to make one for Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, and any other desktop environments that I, I find it easy to make. And then I'll, I'll, these are all going to be just setups. That way, if you want to make your own art system with whatever desktop environment, the pretty much the skeleton, the base would be built already for you. It takes away that hard part. And all you have to do is edit your dot files and all that and make the system your own. And then you'll have your own system. All right. All right. That's going to do it for this video. Just a quick look at Plasma 6. And I'm out. Mm -hmm.